Well, greetings, Mr. Colazar's class. Now we're going to look at putting all of our parts together. So we're going to look at our calculating of pH and pOH along with the concentrations of how much hydroxide or hydrogen ions that we have in the solution. Now we've seen so far pH is the way to measure the amount of hydrogen H plus or hydronium H3O plus in solution. And we're going to be looking at the concentration. So how much of each one, remember our brackets are for concentration. So how much we have of each. The more H plus we have, the more acidic it would be, and the more or the less H plus we have, the more basic it would be. So our equation for this is going to be the pH of the substance is going to be equal to the negative log function or logarithm of the hydrogen concentration. And that by definition is what pH is, the negative log of the H plus concentration. Or if we wanted to go backwards, undoing or going backwards, we're going to use the anti-log key, which would then be 10 to the negative whatever pH. Now on your calculator, it's going to be log, but you're going to hit the second button first and then the log. So we're going to be seeing that and note the negative sign here and also the negative sign there for our first two equations. pH measurement of the hydronium ions in our solution. Sorry about that. pOH now is going to be the measure of the hydroxide ions in solution. So pOH, negative log of the hydroxide concentration, or just the opposite, if we wanted to solve for hydroxide our concentration, you do pOH, we'd go the opposite, the anti-log, and again it's the log or the second key on the calculator. Log will get you this first part, and then it's your negative. of whatever the pOH of the system is. So that's going to be something we look at with the calculator coming up here in just a moment. Now, pH, pOH, if we want to do some calculations, we've seen our KW expression before. Hydrogen concentration times hydroxide concentration equals 10 to, or 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. And if we wanted to, we could break it apart in the log if we're into like in the logs. But what we want you to look at coming up here is a log plus to the plus is equal to 10 to the negative 14th. And if we were to take the negative log of each of those, the pH plus the pOH equals 14. So this is the equation to know right here. That's what's going to be important. And then remember our KW expression, the hydrogen concentration times the hydroxide concentration always equals 10 to the negative 14th. And they're inverse related, so if one goes up, the other one must go down to keep us balanced. So this chart was given to you. This is going to be that separate yellow page. And it's just a way to visually look at all of these equations. So our first one, pH plus pOH. You're going to probably need to pause to get these written all in. Equals 10 or the 14th, so you can move back and forth between pH and pOH. You can move back and forth between the hydrogen concentration and hydroxide concentration. And you can move back and forth between pH and hydrogen concentration or hydrogen concentration and pH. In our last set, similar equation for pOH to hydrogen con or hydroxide concentration or hydroxide concentration to pOH. Now note, you can go from any one to the next but you can't go directly this way. No. You have to go one and then two steps. So two steps to get from any one diagonal to the other. Or you could go and across. Two steps will be needed. You can't go diagonally. So to solve a couple of these problems, and to practice it up here, question 26 looks at you're going to calculate the pH of the solution if it first off has a hydrogen concentration 
of 1.2 times 10 to the second molarity. So pH is equal to the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. And what we're going to see is pH then would equal negative log of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 hydrogen concentration, oops, H plus, molarity of concentration. And so on the calculator, you would take negative log and then from there your concentration 1.0 second EE to get to our exponent negative 2 and if we solve for that we end up with 2. Now when it comes to sig figs for these ones for our pH give us two decimal points as what we're going to be looking for so pH of 2.00 to solve for pOH if you are given, or you're trying to solve for H, or pH, excuse me, pH plus pOH equals 14. If you know pH and you have 4.50 equals 14, you subtract 4.5, subtract 4.5, and so your pH is going to equal 9.5. Now, if you were to look on the acid-base scale, this solution would be acidic, 9.5. This solution would be basic. Our second part, question 3. Now, question 3 is a little bit different because you're looking at OH minus. Now, we can't get to pH in one step. We need to use two steps to get here. So our first step is you're going to start with our pOH is going to be equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration so that we can find pOH. So pOH negative log of our 7.5 times 10 to the negative ninth. And so when we do that we're going to go negative log of 7.5 times 10 to the negative ninth and when we get that answer about 8 point and we're going to go two decimals 1 3 ooh 8.13 is going to be the pOH. Now our second step, part two, is we have pH plus pOH equals 14. We know our pOH, pH plus the 8.13 is going to be equal to 14. So if we simply subtract each side, So that says 14, 8.13 minus the 14, we end up with about a pH of 5.87. 5.87 our pH scale would give us a solution that's acidic. Less than 7 would be acidic. I'm going to have you work through 27. The difference with 27 is you are going to be calculating the pOH instead. And so it's just the opposite, but still a similar equation. Work through 27, A, B, and C. And I will be looking at those in class. All right.